up guys Los Car Favo. Alright so today we're going to be setting up a new catch can or oil separator on the O3 Cobra. The car does currently have this one right here um, but honestly it serves no purpose. Uh, it does not collect any oil whatsoever in the past little over a year that I've had the car. So whenever I had my car tuned one of the things that my tuner recommended was a, a more efficient uh, catch can design than what I have right now. So what I plan on doing is essentially plugging this one up on the intake and then routing a hose coming off of this valve cover and another line coming from that valve cover into one single catch can with a breather. So ultimately I'm going to be blocking this off the one that goes onto the, the intake and I'm, I'm as well going to block off the the one that goes back here that tees off into the supercharger and lower intake just so the car can run more efficient and avoid having oil being recirculated through the the supercharger and being burnt through the engine uh, essentially you know I don't I don't want to mess with that I want it to uh, run clean burn clean and uh, doing it this way with the new catch can setup it's going to clean up the engine bay, bay as well I won't have those two big lines showing like this I mean, I won't have the canister like this. I'm going to hide the canister. Uh, I'm planning on uh, removing the bumper and kind of test fitting everything to see exactly where I'm going to place everything. Uh, it should be pretty fun. It should be interesting. So we'll find out. These are the parts that I have. This is the catch can I have. It's an aluminum TIG welded catch can with the 10 and fittings. And that's another thing. I'm going to be doing 10 and or and fittings on all, all of this stuff. So it'll look really professional, really clean. And I got me 10 feet of 10 and hose right here. Some 90 degree elbows. These are the ones that go into the valve cover and uh, where I can uh, connect my 10 and fitting brackets onto. So I got two of these guys. And uh, one of the issues, since I already kind of mocked up the filter to see where I want to put it, one of the issues I ran into is that this filter is way too tall. So I ended up going to Summit Racing. Uh, it's uh, it's about an hour and a half drive away from me, but really cool store. And uh, they ended up having a much smaller filter or breather that I'm going to use on this. And I love how this looks, but as much as I love how it looks, I'd rather have everything fit and function the best. So yeah, this is a little guy <laughs> compared to that. It's freaking small, but it's going to give me like an extra inch of clearance, which is exactly what I need. So it uh, should be good. It's kind of funny, but, but it's going to work. It's definitely going to work. And uh, it's going to give me much more clearance, which is exactly what I need. we got the car without a front bumper now. So this will easily give me a lot of clearance to kind of look in here, see how I'm going to route my uh, my lines. So for now, for sure, I'm going to mount the catch can like so, right there. I'm going to use that hole and just drill one over here to the side of it. Awesome. So now I got the catch can fully mounted up. Looks super clean. Enough clearance in the top and it's going to clear the bottom as well. Looks really, really clean. That's what I wanted. Something just nice and clean. Um, so now I'm going to have to uh, test fit and run all my lines. So these fittings right here are the ones that are going to go directly from or into my valve cover PCV locations. Super simple. Like I just did right now and just took that out. And simply pop these in and they're really hard to come out so I'm gonna end up doing the same on the driver's side valve cover as I did here and what I want to use are gonna be some 90 degree elbows so for this one I'm gonna run it the line from here kind of tuck, tuck in underneath the air filter and right next to it run it through this hole right in there it's kind of hard to see and uh, just kind of run it right here in front of the radiator onto the catch can so in the process of removing the old catch can lines, I already took off this end, and this is the one that goes to the PCV for the driver's side. Now I can remove the whole thing. Now, this is the T that goes from the supercharger to the lower intake to right here, the PCV, stock PCV location. I'm gonna end up putting a plug right here and taking it off from the back of the supercharger, which is right here, plugging the supercharger, and essentially plugging the T that goes towards the lower intake. 
They picked me up some plugs just from my local auto parts store. Pretty uh, basic plugs. For this little guy, I'm just gonna take it off and plug it up as well. So I got everything pretty much all set in place and uh, I'm fixing to put on the front bumper now. Take my time to kind of clean up a few areas of the front end. But just one last look at the filter or the oil separator setup. Let's see, a little dark in here, but it looks amazing. So I, I ended up routing the one from the driver's side like this. So comes through here, tucked it in underneath. There's like a little opening right underneath this the washer fluid reservoir. And it comes out right through there and goes up to the left hand side of that little tank. So I'm really, really happy with how it looks like. And as for the passenger side, I tucked it underneath or right next to the air filter, right through that hole that goes through there. It goes in front of the radiator, essentially. It's this line right here. All the way through, it comes out through, uh, let's see, right here, right? It's a little hard to see, but it comes out through right here. And I have it with that 90 degree elbow to the right hand side of the catch can. All right, so we got everything all put back together. Bumpers on, it's all finalized. All right. And that's how she looks. Super clean. Really, really content with how everything went together. It wasn't as hard as I uh, originally thought, but just to kind of have a recap of everything I did. So here's a passenger side line. Ran it through here, tucked it through there. Looks clean. I plugged up the one that goes onto the JLT intake. Driver side, same thing. This is the line, tucked it through there, underneath through the fender, real clean. And for the back, I plugged up the one for the supercharger right here. And where it tees off for the lower intake, I put uh, took off all the little tubing and just put two caps on the end. I could, uh, I could plug that one up if I wanted to remove that, that uh, hose, but I'd have to remove the supercharger and I don't really want to do that right now. So for now, it'll do like that. But yes, that's the final, final outcome of this whole assembly, or this whole custom catch can setup that I made. And uh, you know, the catch can, what it, what it does mainly is to keep all the vaporized oil from being recirculated back into your engine, to your uh, intake. So keep the, the engine running more clean, more healthy. For any of you who are interested in doing this exact same mod that I did, um, I'll put description or links in the description of all the parts that I ended up purchasing. And just to let you know, I ended up cutting five and a half feet for the passenger side hose that I ran right behind the radiator or in front of the radiator. And as for the driver's side, I, I mean, I ended up buying a 10, a 10 foot piece of hose so if you subtract ten and a half or five and a half from a ten foot hose, you got four and a half left. So a four and a half hose for the driver's side and five and a half for the passenger side. And I ended up just using all just 90 degree elbow tin and fittings. Yeah, that's uh, about covers it all for this mod. The cool thing is that you can't even see the catch can because it's right under under there. So yeah, it's awesome. So anyways guys, thanks for watching, Lowe's Car 5.0 out.